everyone and welcome back to another episode of Imperial SMP. We are on a roof and there's no good reason for this, I just like the view of my base. We can see the farmlands here, the village here, the castle and the tower. And the only ugly part of our base is completely hidden from sight but it's up over here. This monstrosity is our automatic flower farm and it really doesn't fit in with our base. Until now I haven't really known how to go about covering this up. But today is the day. We are going to turn this into a factory build. So let's plan it out. It has to be this wide. So if we go along here and then back, that gives us this big cube shape to work with. For me, the challenge with this build is to make it look like a factory while also using the color palette in all of our other builds. So somehow we want these clean white walls, but we also want it to look like a factory, which would usually involve a lot of stone and brick in my head at least. So we have the blocks to try and incorporate both. Let's start by making some brick pillars on these corners. We're going with nine tall. And we'll plan out space for some three wide windows on either side. Then a white block here and here, and the rest will be the entranceway. This is looking like a plan. Let's grab some stone bricks now and outline the roof. I kind of want this to be a curved roof. We'll do slab, slab, stair. And then we'll change the pattern so that it's just stairs. There we go. And for the sides over here, I've measured it so there's enough for three three by three windows. So one, two, three. Three gaps for three windows. And I think that's enough planning so we can really get into building this now. We did it, it's a factory. I think we'll call it the flower factory and I'm not even gonna try and make the inside look nice. Because of this thing inside it, I think it's just a little bit doomed to look ugly and that is fine. What we do need is a pathway to it. And we can turn our base paths into a bit of a loop if we take the path up here on this side and maybe over here. Oh yes, this will be perfect. It can connect to this path. Let's dig this out then and fill it in. I also like to add little slabs on the side to look like rocks and it just makes it a little bit less flat. And our pathways are done. This makes me really happy because as I said it basically makes our base into one big loop. Which I think is a nice layout for base pathways. So it comes around here and then it goes up past all of the farms and then it comes through into our little village. And then when you go right up here, you end up back at the mines entrance and down at the factory. Last episode, we made a map of our base, so let's update that to show the new building and paths. Um, hello? I think there's pillagers on my castle. Pretty sure they were right above me. Hello? This is not okay. No, leave. I don't want to kill the captain. Don't follow me. Problem solved. So this piece of map will now show our factory. That looks great, but there is a new thing bothering me about this little circular pathway. And that is that there's not a lot going on here in the middle. So I think we might need to fix that. Okay, so this patch of land needs something. I think potentially we do a little house over here. It can be seven wide and seven long. Then as well as this, I think we could add a couple more amethyst fungi. Maybe one over here and a couple down by the factory. They could come out of the wall even. And here, let's build these up. I'm never gonna be over how nice these amethyst blocks sound. So pretty. We'll add a couple of clusters there with a couple of mushrooms and also I added some moss. This area is looking a lot nicer. Let's build up a super simple house. As usual with these random small builds, I have no idea what to do with the inside. 
Hmm, I think that even though our villagers are trapped in the windmill, we just pretend this is a cute little villager house. We can have a little table over here, a crafting table, and of course we'll go and grab some cute decorations. Maybe a painting above the bed. Let's see. Oh, yikes. There we go. It's a simple interior, but it'll do. And of course the outside is done as well. It's sort of embedded into the hill a little bit like our starter house. I think having some more stuff on the central hill though has made quite a difference to our base. It's starting to look a lot more cohesive around here and as though there's an actual layout even though I didn't really plan it. Oh, and I even did a little bit of terraforming of this wall, just because this was one big wall of gravel and it was very ugly and it was bothering me. Next up, EC is online and I've just offered to help him out with what he's doing at the moment, which is he's starting some kind of building project at the end. Once he's uploaded his next video, I don't know if it'll be out yet, but you can go to his channel and find out more about that. But I think we're gonna meet up and go see what he's up to, maybe do some building, so that should be fun. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's with the chicken? <laughs> His name is Jocko, and he has to go with me everywhere that I go. Oh, and the goggles? Cayman and Sev both challenged me to do a couple different things for my episode, and and this is me doing them. I had an idea for a project to do out in the end there. Have you seen like in desert landscape things? Like say in a lot of video games, they have like the rib cage sticking up out of the- Yeah, like a uh, giant like elephant or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to do like exactly that. I want to have some kind of like skeletal remains that look like some kind of huge, crazy alien mammoth thing. Oh, well, that sounds cool. A word of warning, I'm not very good at organic shapes. I've made like two ever. I, I don't really have experience with it myself. so I don't know I if that I makes it better or worse. <laughs> it probably makes it worse. So from here, we went off to the end with the chicken. Kind of a slow process, but also pretty funny. As you can see, this purple terrain EC has been transforming is looking pretty awesome. And here we are building a big old rib cage coming out of the ground. I think it'll definitely be cool to have more fossils and remains like this in future. This was an excellent start though and it was fun to work on. We made it mostly out of blackstone with a little bit of black concrete powder and some coal blocks for texture. So Brooke, I'm very proud of you because you pretty much did all of this. Uh, that's not true, but... <laughs> Thank you. It looks good. I'm proud of us. We did better than I thought we would. I had no faith. Yeah, I was really worried that I was going to have to like cut this all out of my episode because we would have failed. Thanks for the help. Thanks for coming out. You're the first uh, You're the first builder out here aside from me, which is pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Build again soon. Yes. <laughs> well, that was a really enjoyable tangent to this episode for me. Now let's head on home. Whee! For our final task today, I have decided that I can't stand the bare walls in the map room anymore. Look at this, we really need some more tiny blocks to decorate. I was hoping that a wandering trader would come by to trade me some during this episode, but that hasn't happened. And that's the only way to get most of the tiny blocks, except for the mob heads. We can take collecting these blocks into our own hands. We just need to be a little bit evil and go looking for mobs to kill. I kind of hate the thought of killing all of the cute friendly mobs, but the heads are also really cute and I want them. I say let's do it though. Let's be ruthless and go on a bit of an adventure. Oh, oh this is a weird start. How, how? We'll start by heading over to the coral reef, which is somewhere here. Oh yes, here we go. Okay, I don't feel too bad about this. This is okay. But not really, but they're just pixels. It's fine. Okay. Any heads? Not yet. Drop me your head. <gasps> Did it do it? I think I saw something. <gasps> Tropical fish head. I love this one. I look like Nemo. Oh, a dolphin. Do I try? Come here. I'm sorry. It didn't even drop anything. Oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. <gasps> Wait, there it is. Okay, it was worth it after all. <laughs> I'm a dolphin. I already have a squid head. I don't think there'll be anything else around here. Puffer fish head? 
I'm scared it's gonna poison me. Oh, it dropped it! This has been easier than I thought it would be. And I see a turtle. I'm so sorry. Wait, and no head. Let's go try our luck in a different biome now. There's a lot of plains animals, but they have such a low chance of dropping their head. I don't think I'm gonna bother. The jungle could be a good biome for this. Let's go see what we can find. Maybe a parrot or an ocelot? Oh, there's a parrot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Green parrot head. That is our fourth mob head. We're getting really lucky and getting some really cute ones. Oh, a panda? Oh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I can. They're my favorite mob. Nope, nope, nope. I'm leaving. Maybe we'll find something. Oh, is that llamas? We have a trader llama, but not a normal one. White llama head. Might as well try. No. A bunny? Oh, I dropped it though. White rabbit's head. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, here's the deal. If you give me your head, I will spare your friends. No, rude. Okay, you. Please. Oh no, I'm just killing all the goats and none of them are dropping heads. Well, that was a bit of a fail. Chicken. Oh, chicken head. Wait, that's lucky. They're kind of rare. We're home now, but I have a final idea to try for a final mob. Cute, but also I want your head. There it is, snow golem head. So this is our previous collection through the hallway, but we have the new blocks in here. There's a puffer fish, a snow golem, a, what are you? Oh, a dolphin. And over here, there's a trading llama, a chicken. We had the salmon and we've got a fish and a parrot. Oh, and the rabbit. There's still plenty of space, including for some shelves above like we have in the hallway. Just in case we do more or we could do a part two of this, let me know if you enjoyed it. But I think that will be all for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!